Hey everyone, I'm gonna show you how to create an online course with AI. We're gonna take a few hours of work and condense it to just a few minutes. I'm gonna go through this in real time so you can see an actual example of how it works. The tool that we're gonna be using is called Heights AI by Heights Platform. I am the founder of Heights Platform and if you wanna follow along and try it out, you can go to heightsplatform.com. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to use Heights AI to create a course here live really quickly with you. Right now I'm inside this photography program and we're going to create an example course about photography. So I'll go down here to click on Heights AI and the first thing we're going to do is click on course generator. Let's make this new course about uh, mastering portrait photography in 30 days. And now when we hit get feedback, the first thing that's going to happen is Heights AI is going to analyze this title and give us some potential recommendations. And so it says to start off, we clearly are communicating a result that the student would receive. That's great. Um, let's see. They say, okay, so we could make it a little bit more compelling actually, if we specified a niche. So we could say something like mastering wedding portrait photography or mastering fine art portrait photography. All right, that's interesting. So let's go next to the course outline. And now here Heights AI has generated a complete outline and curriculum for us, um, complete with these different modules. And that looks pretty good. We're gonna be able to go ahead and adjust that later. But one of the things that we always say is really great as the first thing to do when you start making your course is to go ahead and create that outline rather than starting to just record or write content right away because the outline is going to help inform you of what you actually need to create and what you should actually do and then in what order. So it's really helpful as a brainstorming tool even to make that outline first. And here Heights AI has gone ahead and made it even easier to brainstorm by doing that for us. Now we're gonna go ahead to the course description and we have a example description here written for us. Now, again, keep in mind, this is meant as a starting point. Uh, you probably don't wanna just copy and paste exactly what is here, but this will give you some thoughts as you're writing or wanna go ahead and refine this of the things that you might wanna include. So it mentions of what you might talk about throughout these 30 days, um, the result that you're gonna get. And it's it's nice that we're explaining here like how to communicate to your audience. So like whether you're a hobbyist looking to improve your skills or a professional photographer. And also talks about other things we might wanna include in it. So it's gonna depend if we actually do include these things, but like uh, live Q and A sessions, uh, community. All right, next, now, we're all done that. We can go ahead and click auto create. And now we have the opportunity to have the AI actually go ahead and create this course for us. So you can see here's all the modules that we saw in the outline before. And we can go ahead and edit any of these and make adjustments real quick right now if we want to. Let's say we know like, okay, I definitely decide for some reason I don't want um, this lesson. So I'll go ahead and delete that. And then when we're ready, we can go ahead and click looks good, build my course. Now what's going to happen is the course is actually being created inside Heights platform by the AI. So it's going to make all of those lessons. It's going to add our description and it's even going to pick a cover image for us. All right. So here is our course created by Heights AI. So it even found a cover image that we could potentially use. I'm not sure I would stay with this one, but it's nice to have this really quick starting point. So we've got our description here for our course. And as you see here, we have each of our modules. So now we could simply go ahead and say, okay, I want to get started on this first one, click edit. And now we're inside the lesson editor and we can go ahead and start writing our content, recording videos and creating. So we just saved potentially hours of time there of having to think about what the outline is going to be, how we're going to describe it, and then going ahead and clicking and creating each of those individual lessons. 
Now, all we have to do is actually just share our unique message and put it into those lessons instead of the tedious work. Now, we're not done. We can still use Heights AI to help us even further with this. And so let's say we've created a lot of our lessons and now we're getting ready to actually launch this course. We can come back down to Heights AI here in the bottom and you'll see here, it knows that this is our current course topic and now we can chat with it. So we could ask it some questions if we wanna learn how to use Heights a little bit better. So let's say, um, how do I set the price for my course? And here we go. So it's going to explain how we can do that here. All right, that looks great. And we can click tell me more if we want to go into more detail about anything. Also has a link here to the support article. But you'll notice here what actually just popped up is it has some recommendations for us as well. So the first one here, let's click on that. It's actually able to not only tell us how we can go ahead and set the price, but it can actually help us out and give us advice about how we might choose a price for that. So um, here I said, what's the best way to price an online course? Um, just clicked on that recommendation. And now see, it's talking about our course here. It says for a comprehensive course, like mastering portrait photography, you can consider pricing it at a premium level. All right, that sounds good. And then we've got another option here. Tell me more, or we can read actually on our blog where we've written something about that. Great. All right. And you'll notice, so we have more recommendations and this second recommendation is similar to what we had uh, before there. I don't know if you saw, but what's interesting here is this will actually be able to set the price for us. So I showed you how you can ask the Heights AI how you can set a price but you can actually also ask Heights AI to make changes for you. So imagine that you have an assistant that is able to work with you and help adjust settings on your product. And that's exactly what Heights AI does. So uh, it's talking about one of our other courses here. Let's, uh, since we're working on this one right now, let's say um, set uh, my mastering portrait course to published and make the price 199. That sounds good, I think. So we'll go ahead and send that. And now we see, here's what I can update for you. We have a uh, master in portrait photography in 30 days, published, yes. Enrollment paid, price 199. And now all I have to do, if that looks good, is click update product. And there we go. So we have that all set up and actually it looks like here we say, um, I'd say I was saying a landing page is disabled. Ask me to enable it to see a copyable link. So yeah, let's try that as well. Enable the public landing page for my mastering portrait course. All right, update product. There we go. And now we can copy that link as well. And now we have the public landing page all set up and ready to share with our audience. So there you go. That's a real quick example of just a few of the things that you can do with Heights AI. I hope you guys found this helpful and I hope that you also find it an invaluable tool in creating your own online courses and communities. All right, I really hope that this tutorial was useful to you. This is just a small example of what Heights AI can do. Again, if you want to try it out and sign up, we have a free trial at heightsplatform.com. If you wanna learn more about ways that creators can use AI, check out this video.